gentlemen, to a real important broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. Well, we're in a process of seeing the fall of Afghanistan. Uh, the Taliban has taken over every city with the exception of uh, Kabul, the capital. And ladies and gentlemen, it's very, I'm old enough to remember, it's very reminiscent of the fall of Saigon. That there's mass hysteria as we flee uh, the battleground in uh, Afghanistan. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what I'm fixing to say is the same thing I've been preaching for so many years. And I'm nobody special, I can assure you. I'm a poor man with a cheap camera. But our tanks and our airplanes and our jets, although they're very uh, important to have and to be strong in, we're fighting a spiritual warfare and those things should, uh, as matters well, be made out of paper because they're no good in this spiritual warfare. Uh, we have seen Iraq uh, basically kick us out under Iran's influence. We've seen Russia take over Syria. Uh, we've seen the fall, uh, fits in the the fall of Afghanistan in the capital they, they, uh, they te by a terrorist organization. And Yemen is, uh, uh, Iran is uh, taking Yemen uh, with their influence in Yemen. Why is these series of losses in the East? Well, one thing, China and Russia want to take over the oil-rich East. And two, uh, we have to remind ourselves that we're fighting, we're fighting a spiritual warfare and we've got to change the things that, in which uh, the Lord has led my heart to change. And I'm nobody special. There's many people that preach the same thing. Okay, let's look at Bloomberg. Uh, it says, uh, Biden boasts troops in Afghanistan for orderly withdrawal. Okay, uh, President Joe Biden boasted that the U.S. troop deployment to Afghanistan to ensure, quote, orderly and uh, safe drawdown as Taliban fighters expand their control of major cities and advance towards Kabul. That was a good decision to send uh, uh, additional troops to ensure the safety of the uh, uh, employees at the embassy and to get the people connected with the United States, Afghanistan citizens out of Afghanistan because they, they, they're they uh, facing grave danger uh, when the Taliban comes in and finds out that they work for the United States. Okay, now, what, what needs to be done, you may ask, for this to stop? For one thing, we need to quit doing the things that uh, are, uh, that which I've talked about and other preachers have talked about for so long now, and if you don't know what they are, please review some of the past videos. But Second Chronicles 7.14 must be fulfilled. And I say this because it's so very important, people. If my people, which are called by my name. Now, I've said this before. My name, uh, the name here is Jesus Christ. Christ being his title, Jesus being his name. We're supposed to be the largest Christian country uh, we're supposed to be a beacon to all the world of Christian countries, yet we kick Jesus out and do the things we do. By call by my name. Christians means Christ ones. Uh, I truly believe he's talking about the United States here. Okay, what shall we do? We shall humble our, themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm saying this because there's people in the government that think by re re humbling themselves and repenting and turn away from what they've been doing and make right the wrong, that that would be a sign of weakness. It will be a sign of strength. I can assure you the Lord will be with us. Uh, think positive. We can fulfill Second Chronicles 7.14. We can return as a Christian nation. I know we can. It sent us to turn to, uh, to be a Christian nation again. And we got to realize that some of the people in the government has done some things that needs to be corrected and made right. Ladies and gentlemen, I say this not to disrespect my country, I can assure you. 
is because I love my country dearly and I'm trying to do everything in my might to tell them what needs to be done as other people are doing the same thing. It's a spiritual warfare we're fighting, ladies and gentlemen. And we got to stop some of the things we've been doing and turn to Christ. With that in said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 2 Chronicles 7.14 must be fulfilled by us. I'm very concerned, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in the direction uh, the world is headed towards us as a country. And we definitely need Jesus on our side. With that and said, you are listening and watching on another broadcast of Jerusalem's Gate. Remember, we love you. Woo! <laughs>